and welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books how are you all and are you all having a lovely october so far we're just a day in i can't believe it's october already like we're definitely in the good quarter of the year now october november december bestest also enjoy september also enjoy september and today i'm going to be talking about my September favourites. So these are all the things that I have loved and enjoyed doing in September at the moment. I know it's October, but I'm loving and enjoying Minnie just walking around being all cute. Stop being so cute. Um, the first thing I'll talk about is, um, I'll mention this briefly because there's going to be um, more of a video about this. So um, throughout September, I've been filming a video um, for my alphabet series called E is for exercise, um, where I've been exercising every single day in September. And two things that I have loved from that experiment that I've put myself through. Number one being my Fitbit, um, which I bought myself at the beginning of the month to, uh, to, to, to make me realise how much, um, how many steps I was doing, how much I was moving throughout the day. Obviously this is something you can do without a Fitbit, um, but I'd wanted one for a while. And I thought this would really, really help me in the, um, the Ears for Exercise video. And I've absolutely loved it. It's really, really great. Um, I have set it so that I'm supposed to walk 250 steps an hour um, i'm in an office job so sometimes that does not happen but if that hasn't happened in the hour at 10 to the hour um, i get a little it vibrates and it says time to get up walk a few more steps um, which is really great because not only does it remind me to get up and get moving it also like reminds me to go and have a toilet because sometimes i'm busy and i don't get to go to the toilet um, or go and uh, make myself a cup of tea and i just feel like it's a really great way to get myself moving more um, which has been amazing and also like when i've been doing the running or when i've been doing um, other exercises it's been um noticing that and it um it uh, registers your sleep patterns and things like that i just feel like it's been really really um rewarding and valuable throughout this month so i very very much enjoyed um the, this fitbit and um, i've got the fitbit hr fitbit charge 2 i think it's called um with the plum strap the only thing i will say is that my strap is getting very grubby already i've only had it a month um, and the strap's very very grubby so we'll be getting myself a new strap at some point but very very valuable another thing that i've loved from this month um and this will all be mentioned in my ears for exercise video when that comes up is david and i went to um two ballroom and latin american dance lessons which we absolutely adored um the first time we went we did tango and quick step no sorry tango and cha-cha-cha and the next time we went we did tango and quick step um we really enjoy the tango and we're getting to grips much better with the tango than we have other dances um, and we're definitely going to continue um going to more lessons because it's just such a lovely thing to do but the first time we went i went like because i wanted to try a lot of different exercises throughout the month of september i sort of booked it and said oh we're going to this and david was like okay we've been to a lesson before many many years ago when we um i i was taking him on a date and we decided to go and do that um but it was just such a joy and we both left with such smiles on our faces that we just couldn't resist going back and it's something we're definitely gonna try and fit in the guy who teaches us um he doesn't do as much teaching anymore but he's gonna try and fit us in like if not every weekend then at least every other weekend we've been a few breaks for it at the moment because we've been away on holiday um and we were at a wedding last week but we're uh, we're back to it um as soon as possible which is amazing so it's just been so lovely to do that um and also um something i've enjoyed and this really is just taking everything from my um my ears for exercise video but i've been um doing couch to 5k um, where i've been um getting my way up to run into um, a, a 5k um race which has been or race just a run um which has been amazing i've been using the app and i've absolutely loved it and i've been documenting my progress on instagram stories um, which has been so lovely and everyone's been so encouraging and amazing and when i've been like i can't be bothered to go for a run um, people have been like go out and do it go out and do it and when i've done it they're like you're doing amazing which has just been fantastic um so i've loved 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 doing that it's been a bit of a hiatus for that as well because we've been on holiday etc but we'll definitely be getting um back to week three run three i think i'll be doing um next time i get back to it so thank you to everyone who's been so supportive and so lovely throughout that so those are the exercisey things blah 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 um the next thing is that we went on holiday last week as i mentioned um we had a lovely lovely week um in chroma which is in north norfolk um and it's a seaside town and we just had an absolutely amazing time we stayed in an airbnb which was beautiful um, it's about 10 minutes walk into town the town itself it's really chill and really relaxed but there's so much to do there so they've got like loads of restaurants and a pier and arcades and um bookshops and um, a cinema and um just places to sit and just chill and we just had an amazing time it's david's birthday while we were there and on his birthday we went to um 
we went to uh, a seal tour in the morning there will be a vlog of the week which I'm very very much looking forward to uh, pulling together um, we went on a seal tour on a boat in the morning out at Blakeney Point um, and we went out and watched and saw two different types of seals the grey seals and the common seals and they were just adorable and really intrigued and interested in us as well which was lovely just watching them look at us like who are these guys? Um, that was lovely. And then we went out for lunch. And then in the evening, we went to another thing and saw another thing, which is another one of my favourites for the month. I saw the film Crazy Rich Asians, which was bloody fantastic. It was so much fun. It looks amazing. The storyline was just so, um, like... It just reminded me of like a film I would have watched when I was a teen and I loved it. All the actors were just fantastic. The cast was amazing. I loved it and I would urge, urge, urge people to go and see it. And I will definitely, definitely be reading the book and getting it on Blu-ray when it comes out. It, I feel like, is there a sequel to it? Like, I mean, they've got to make a sequel because it was just so successful and amazing. But is there a sequel? Is there a second book after Crazy Rich Asians? Answer me that, I'm very, very interested. Um, another thing that I've been enjoying is some autumn planning. So I downloaded, and I've done a video on this, I'll link it down below. Um, I downloaded an autumn bucket list from the uh, uh, Beautiful Mess website. If you sign up to their newsletter, you get a copy of this. And I've filled this in um, with lots of different things that I want to do throughout autumn. So far, I've crossed off one. It was while I was on holiday. I did a puzzle um, on the 25th of uh, September, which was a very nice puzzle. It was a bookshelf. Um, it was a 500 piece puzzle because I felt like a thousand pieces was a bit too much for me to manage in an afternoon or a day. Um, and David was not interested in doing that puzzle with me, but I really, really loved it. I just listened to my um, Corman Strike um, audio book and just sat down. David was playing, it, we were in the Airbnb and we'd been out, was it the more, was it his birthday? I don't think it was his birthday, I think it was the day before his birthday and we'd been out um, and we just chilled out in the um, in the afternoon and um, I did a puzzle and David just uh, played FIFA which was lovely. Uh, but I've got a whole host of things to um, to do throughout the month of, um, throughout the month of, throughout the season of autumn. Um, I've got about 32 things on here, um, some of which are going to get done this week in fact um, because we're really into the autumn, um, autumn excitement now. Um, and yeah, so uh, I love that and I will link, as I said, I will link the video down below where I go through in detail um, a some of the things I've got on this list but apart from that just to give you a little taste of things uh, visit an orchard read a gothic book I'm about to start Frankenstein make soup take autumnal photos put up Halloween prints etc so that's something else that I've been very very much enjoying let's have a look in my book and see what else I've been enjoying oh yeah next thing I've been enjoying is my new backpack here it is it's only a little guy, got it from Tesco's, it was 18 pounds and I bought it in a bit of a panic because I don't have any like going out bags that aren't like a big satchel or canvas bags, I don't have anything. And this I bought thinking that'll be perfect. It's quite autumnal in colour, it's like this bronze colour. What I really like about it, it's got this black piping all the way around and it's from Tesco's. Now Tesco's are really up to their clothing game, I've got some amazing jumpers from them um, recently. But for 18 pounds this is fantastic and it fits so much in, um, it's got this front pocket here with a nice big zip on it where I put sort of lipsticks and stuff. What's in there at the moment Lauren? Should we see? Oh I'll tell you what's in there. It's a card for me to buy some dancing shoes and um, something to uh, to to polish my glasses with and then actually the, the my main thing when I buy bags is can I fit a book in it and if I can't fit a, a hardback book can I fit at least fit a paperback book in it but this bag actually at the moment as well as having my massive purse which is massive this is my massive purse it's also got a hardback and a paperback <laughs> in there so very very exciting that that can fit that in there and it's also got another little slot at the back so really 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 happy about this 18 pounds they also had it in um pink velvet black velvet and black sequins um all of which were lovely but i just edged towards this because i like it because it's a bit sparkly um and yeah absolutely love it and so many people have said to me oh i love your backpack um when i was in paper chase um in norwich when i visited mercedes um, the girls in there were like oh my god is that from here is that from here and then they were really disappointed because they've got very similar one in there but it's more square and it hasn't got this like black piping around it but absolutely fantastic backpack very very secure and looking forward to wearing that for a very long time um what have i been watching on tv and enjoying david and i have watched throughout from the first episode to the end episode have not missed one episode of celebrity master chef and we have bloody loved it even if we didn't watch it live we caught up on it the, they they showed it in like um, on a Thursday and a Friday so the Thursday night show would be an hour and the Friday night show would be 90 minutes 
And Dave and I, some Fridays, we watched two and a half hours of it and we bloody loved every minute. And it's just MasterChef, but with celebrities, which we very much enjoy watching because the cooking feels much more achievable when I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, I would do that, or I could do that. Um, and it's just a bit pared down. Um, I won't spoil who's won in case people haven't watched it, but I was very pleased with who won. Um, and I feel like the final, the right people were in the final as well. Um, but yeah, we just loved it and we just really, really enjoyed it. And it was just something really fun that we both really got into watching. And it makes me think, I really must make the effort to watch MasterChef. The only thing about MasterChef is that there's so much of it um, when it's on. It's a cooking competition, by the way. I haven't even explained what it is. Um, and there's so much of it. And it's on like three nights a week. And you just if you miss one, then you can't watch the next one. And it really backs up. But Dave and I were very much on top of it. And we kept really watching it. And I'm so pleased that we did the whole way through because we absolutely loved it. We really, really enjoyed watching it. So getting into the last few things. Now, this is a my favourite book of the month. It will not come as a surprise because I've been raving about it and I actually made a video with Mercedes talking about how much I enjoyed it and I'll link that video down below and it's Nevermore, uh, The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the first book in a series about Morrigan Crow who is a cursed child and is cursed to die on her 11th birthday. Now on her 11th birthday, a man called Jupiter North turns up, whisks her away to a place called Nevermore and explains that she is going to be taking part in some trials to uh, get her into a, a, um, a society called the Wondrous Society. Um, you don't know anything more about that apart from that and you follow, this is her book, following the trials that she does um, and the people that she meets and it is absolutely fantastic now at the risk of repeating myself over and over again there are bits in here i mean i love christmas and there is like two amazing christmas packed chapters in here it's just so cinematic when you're reading it like all oh, you can just imagine how like colorful and great the the big bright scenes are going to be but there's also really dark bits and you can just think that's like got a real twist and you just know like the the further this series goes the better and better it's going to get now the second um one is out on the 30th of october and that is called wondersmith the calling of morrigan crow um and yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. I hadn't felt this excited about a book in such a long time. It was I was so excited. I was getting to parts where I was like, well, I don't want to start that chapter because I'm on my lunch break and it finishes in like five minutes and I want to devour this chapter. So I would be like holding it for myself. And it was the sort of situation where I was loving, loving it so much that I didn't ever want it to end. But at the same time, I was just devouring it and just absolutely loving every single bloody moment and um yeah i loved it and i'll link the video that mercedes and i talk about it down below now there are a few spoilers in that i don't feel like it's like it's going to ruin the book for you it's more like hype for the book um but yeah absolutely amazing oh my god i loved it so much i just can't wait for like everyone to read it david's gonna read it soon um and i cannot wait for to see what he, what he, what he thinks because it's just gonna be amazing um, and then the last thing uh, that was one of my favorites from the month is um something that i wore David and I went to a wedding um, at the weekend of some uh, friends of David and I and I wore a dress that I got from Marks and Spencer um, a couple of months ago actually. I'll tell you the story of how I bought it because everyone loves the story of how I ended up buying a dress. I follow an Instagram account um, called Betty Magazine and there's a girl there, Charlotte Jacqueline. Um, I love the Instagram account and she wears some amazing clothes and she's a similar size to me and has a similar style to me. Um, I, will link, I will link her Instagram account down below. Um, and um, she wore a dress that was from Marks and Spencer from the brand Peruna, which was a velvet short sleeve dress, which just looked beautiful and had embroidered white flowers on there. It was 79 pounds, which is quite a lot for a dress, um, but I really, really loved it. And I saw it on the website and I was like, I'm gonna try that on next time I'm in Marks and Spencer. So we went to Marks and Spencer's in Blue Water. I tried it on and then I, I picked it up and then on the way, saw it, saw again that it was 70 pounds and thought 70, uh, 79 pounds, still quite a lot of money, thinking I've got to get shoes to go with this as well. Then on the way, to the changing rooms, I passed this green dress. Um that I was like, oh, that looks nice. Maybe a bit casual, but it looks nice. I'm gonna pick it up anyway. Uh, similar green to this, in fact. Um, and then went and tried on both the dresses. The velvet one was very lovely, but the green dress, I just loved it. You know when you put something on and you're like, bloody hell, this just feels so perfect. I really, really love the color. And I was like, that's Christmassy. I can wear it for Christmas. And also it's quite like, the green's quite springy as well. So I'm just gonna get loads of wear out of it. It's long sleeve. I love long sleeve dresses gathered at the waist so I can sort of like have it ungathered and be more casual and potentially wear it with trainers or have it gathered and then wear it with heels as I did to the wedding and then get uh, like it's a, a neck like this which I really like that like buttons at the back oh my god I just loved it it was 49 pounds 50 um and then the shoes I got to go with it which were leopard print kitten heels um like pointy ones were 25 pounds so I got 
both the dress and the shoes for less than the dress that I went in to buy. So I was absolutely delighted with myself. I will insert a picture of me wearing it if I haven't done so already. I absolutely loved it. Um, and now that very dress is in the sale, which I would be, normally I'd be cross about, but the joy I got when I bought that dress, like I was just so happy that I found something that just suited me so well. And I was so, and I, I never really wore green before. I wonder if it's because maybe I've got blonde hair. It just looked, the color was just gorgeous and just looked lovely. So I was just very, very pleased. Um, and yeah, absolutely loved it. So I will, if I can, if the dress and the shoes are still in Marks and Spencers, because they were in the sale, I will link them both down below because they're amazing dresses. It was an amazing dress. I just felt lovely in it. It was just really, really like comfy and nice and wonderful. Um, the wedge in itself, there was a lot of it was outside my heels. Came. I don't ever wear heels ever um, and if I do I wear like chunky like big boot heels so to wear like a little kitten heel when I was in them I was just sinking into the grass all day long um, so they didn't stay on very long but they did look lovely um, so yeah so that is something that I have been wearing recently now I don't know if you guys know but I have started doing what I wore videos where I talk about the clothes that I wore in the month before because people are very kind um I sometimes I use a uh, hashtag on Instagram called L-A-T-B-O-O-T-D which is Lauren and the Books outfit of the day and if I'm ever looking fly in my outfits um I put a picture up on there and people are always really kind and like where'd you get those clothes from and um so I've started doing videos where I talk my way through the outfits that I have been wearing um, that month and where I've got things from and how recent they are because a lot of my clothes and my wardrobe although I do buy myself new things because um good girl and I deserve it a lot of my stuff is from like last year or the year before or someone's given it to me and things like that so um I've started doing those videos so keep your eyes out for um for those videos but yeah so those are my favorites for the month of September did everybody there you guys have a lovely September I would love to hear some of your favorites from the month of September and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye